Man, what a story I get to tell you all. It contains everything from PvP all the way to just trying to survive. I hadn't played the mask in a while, and so it was hard just trying to adapt once again, but we got there. I started off somewhere around the coast of the mask, and it was very dark. I find myself heading into a military compound, and I met someone who goes by the name Granny. She was very nice and we ended up getting a fire set up since the mask insists that you make a fire every 10 minutes just to stay warm. She was telling me how she wanted to build a hotel for some people to stay in and whilst in the middle of that conversation, someone else shows up with a massive horde of zombies. We obviously got rid of some of the zombies, we let them in and we started talking, exchanging names with this third party and it was Syl. Yeah, what's your name man? Sil? Sure. Ah, Sil! Ah, it's Frankie! Hello, oh, Frankie, what's up, mate? Hey, how you doing, buddy? Doing really all right, man. It just got clapped and worked out and not too long ago. I'm just in myself, man, so I've yet to experience all of that. I'm not yeah, working. man. It's, it's, it's just a PvP zone for you. <laughs> I can imagine. I'm getting, I'm getting the impression that nobody's gonna let me make my little hotel over there. You know? And so we started talking about what we wanted to do, and after getting enough heat in us, we left the compound. a hard place to survive on and when you have others around it's only a matter of time before you reach your end. At this point in time Granny had already died to starvation and Sil didn't log in after the server restarted so I was all alone and I wanted to interact with more survivors so I did what I thought was best and I had gone to the hospital to use the PA system and with that came a big price. No way! Attention, Attention all, survivors. all survivors! Come to the, Come hospital. To the hospital! Have a good time! Have a good time. Frankie, Frankie out! out. <laughs> Look, he's coming over! <laughs> Run, my dude, run! You can make it! Please, brother! <laughs> you gotta get out yourself! Please, brother! Run! Please, I'll help brother. you! I'll help you! Help me, brother! Shut the door! Shut the door on your way in! Yes, brother! Yes, brother! Get in! Get in! Get in! Oh, oh my god! Attention survivors of the town, if you're around, come to the hospital, it's a friendly place and no one needs to kill each other. Frankie out. There's a storm coming guys, get ready. I'm just gonna stay here. A low survivor out in the field, come on in.
Hey, buddy. Hello. Upstairs, bud. What happened here? Sil, is that you? Yes. It's Frankie, dude. I've been surviving this whole goddamn time. Frankie, good to see you, man. Good, good to, to see you, too. Yeah, I know. Coming up. <laughs> Take over the hospital. <laughs> oh. Nice. Nice. nice, nice. <laughs> I met Cairo. He's somewhere in the town as well. Is he? Oh, Cairo. Let's try and yeah, get him yeah. in. Let's, let's try and get him in. <laughs> yeah. Where's the radio thing? It's, it's over here. It's over here. Once Sil was back, we made that call out for Cairo to come to the hospital. But he was a no-show, at least for now. But someone did show. And be ready for your ears as they are about to explode. There was a storm coming in at the time. Survivor by the apartments. Don't be shy. Tell them about the yellow smoke. We have yellow smoke on the hospital. So everyone can identify where it is. Everyone make your way to the hospital to survive the oncoming storm. Rank you out. On second thought, you're all fucked. <laughs> Over now. Over now. Coming in, buddy. Hello, hello, hello. I am friendly. Coming in. You're good. Get you're it. good. Just don't pull anything, and you're all good. Just keep the doors shut as well. I am friendly, brother. No kill, no kill. No worries, no worries. What's your name? What is your my my name? Is... <coughs> oh. oh. Like I said, when survivors are around, the end is near. But when one life ends, another emerges. And with that, we head back to the hospital. Along the way though, we end up finding Cairo and he tags along too to help me get my revenge. Mr. Ray Ray. That's the guy. That's the fucking guy. Bro, bro, bro. He's after me, he's oh, after me. He's after me. I'll buy him. Oh, I'll buy him. Oh, go inside, go inside, go inside, dude. I'm making this. It's just over here, dude. We can make it, we can make it. Oh my god. Oh, man. oh do not do friendly friendly it's me it's me it's me it's me it's me it's me fuck where is he i don't know he's upstairs somewhere he's upstairs somewhere this is my shit all right let him calm down what's up calm down baby come on this is why you can't play your fuck with me it's your worst nightmare baby let's go let's fucking go bitch 
Oh, must be up. Play game. Oh yeah, back time boy. <laughs> must be upstairs. Yeah, I'm upstairs, baby. You coming for a fucking fight of it? Nah. Away from you, man. Come on, boy. Hide up on the roof, eh? Hide on the fucking roof. You hide on the fucking roof. Hey, Rick! Rick! You haven't fucked no, me, bro! I killed you! I killed, I killed you twice, bud! Time for talking is done, you fucking dick! Bro, no one's- I'm not talking! Who's talking? No one's come fight you, the bitch! Shut your fucking oh, mouth, Rick! Oh! Shut the fuck up, mate! Come on, that bitch, fight! Yeah, you hear me? Stop, bitch! We're all fucking peasants! Yeah, yeah, suck one. Now you go, Ravi. Sure, sure. Oh! It's <laughs> okay, but fuck, I can't see either. You, you fucking, I was taking the ladders, man. I took the ladders, dude. Come up, he's dead. Kaibo, dude, coming up, he's dead. You got him. I was, I was flanking on the ladders. Oh, dude, he got Kaibo, dude. He traded, dude. Once Cairo had returned, a few more of my friends eventually found where I was. How I knew that they were looking for me? Well, I left at the part where I met two others before going to the hospital and they mentioned Dan and Panda were looking for me. Now we're all grouped up, we decided to hit the refugee camp just outside of town but before we could do that, a server restart was to happen. So we got a campfire going and just waited for it to happen. Right, so you guys remember at the start of the video, I met a person called Granny and she was talking about starting a hotel for all members of the community to come by, it'll be a neutral zone, she was saying, and essentially just wanted to give freshies more food to, in order for them to survive. Well, I found out after looking at the refugee camp that she had also met Cairo and Dan at some point and had also mentioned the hotel idea to them. She told him where she was planning on building, so we decided to take a look for her, and we ended up finding where she was building. I'm not even joking. There you go. There you go. Yeah, heavy hit like that. Aim a bit further down. You need to aim more down, bro. A bit more down. A bit more. There you go. There you go. Right there. There you go. Give it. Give it business. Sure. Give it business. Give me a sec. Yeah, that's it. I think you trimmed a little bit there. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> He's got me winding her up. <laughs> yeah, Granny, it actually doesn't work. I was completely. <laughs> <laughs> I just, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Granny! Granny, come on. <laughs> Granny, fuck Granny, Granny! I brought you a barrel. I'm getting your dick. Anyway, long story short. It was only myself and Cairo around at this point. We wanted to help as we wanted to be a part of something that can help out the community. Granny had a vision and we wanted to help see it through. We did some loot runs for her and she even came out on one as well. Day 2 of this adventure started out in a way I never thought it really could. Myself and Cairo were on just ourselves and we ran into a survivor and we thought we would give him a chance to live by playing the best out of three on rock, paper, scissors and I'm not going to lie to you guys, it was a very tense game. Let's give it a little watch shall we? Alright, stand up. You're going to play rock, paper, scissors versus my friend. Yeah. 
Right. And if you uh, win, it's best out of three. Great, great, boy. Two, one, go. Ooh. Yeah, that's one nil. <laughs> right, you can't again, fuck boy. up one more time, bud. You cannot fuck up. I don't want to have to, uh, you know. I want you to win. Come on, you got this. Three, two, <laughs> one, go. <laughs> Oh, 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 you've got one chance, dude. One this chance. Is the most intense game of rock, paper, scissors of your life, okay? Most intense. I feel like it depends on it, boy. Yeah, so you just sit down. Take a little minute before you die, right? I need this right. minute. Alright, okay, okay. <laughs> you good? You good? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty mad. Oh, I can hear it too. Alright, <laughs> right, come on, man. He's gonna win. This is it. You feel bad, holy crap. Yeah. Nah, no, I don't nah. feel bad. <laughs> we gave him the rules. We yeah. gave him the rules, dude. Right, so once Rock, Paper, Scissors was over and done with, we decided to hit the PvP capital, Vorkuta. And I tell you what, it was some of the most intense fights I have ever experienced. Right. Frankie, no. The, gold, Frankie, the golden, no. the golden breath knuckles. Aaron, Frankie, I'm not even sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Might have got a hit. Might have got a hit. I think he's down. I think he's down, guys. Roof fights happened. Many encounters happened which led to death. I even died a number of times in this process, but in the very end, I walked out with my head held high and still standing strong with nothing to lose. So later that day, I was spending some time at the hotel with my close friends and we decided to head back into Verkuta and along the way we ran into Dap, one of the server owners. He was alone, we had a couple of people so we decided to team up and go back into the downtown where we heard more gunshots going off and from there, well, get involved. Oh fuck! Let him come back. Oh dude, no! No, don't do it! No. He's my friend! He's my friend! No! Why did you do that? Thank you. No, you didn't shoot me. He is. And after all that PvP action happened, we surprisingly found a bunch of other people who we could actually trust and we went back to the hotel with the group we had gained. Now, in the final act of this crazy adventure we're on, we are now back at the hotel where things have been established and are going very well for Granny. There was a few things 
that involves someone shooting someone else, but that isn't really that important to the story. What is important to the story is that we heard a couple of voices outside and we went outside to say hi and before you knew it, I was dead. I was shocked to the core as I did not expect this, but nevertheless, I did what I had to do to get back and defend the hotel. Yo, yo. Who's that? What, Steve? Who's me? Oh, uh, Finnegan. What are you with the Orish? Oh, fuck's sake. Alright. Oi, who are you with? Uh, no one, actually. Right. Oi, I'd like to recruit you. I've got to... What? What's your plan? Are you with them or are you against them? I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not with anyone. I'm not with anyone, but I've got a camp up here and I'm just trying to get some heat because I'm cold. Want right. to come with? Um, I, I need to three with this death. Can you spare some for the rest of the Thank you, my dude. Thank you. Thank you. Fucking thank you, dude. Oh. I'm over here. Who's this? Who's this? Okay. It's Peanut. Fuck you. Piece of shit. Fucking hell. They're just, they're just running back, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Get him up. Watch him, watch him, watch him. All the guns, that's all. all. And then we'll be good. All the gold. Hey! Whoa, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't very nice at all. What do we think? You've been sitting through a window. You've been sitting through the window of that window. We'll come in there. We'll take everything. We'll park it all. What? I'm a kid to see. Yum! <laughs> Yum! <laughs> I can't be flashing, dude. One by the building on the far right side. Building by the far right side. Keep that one. Things are hit the wall. I don't know. Can I turn on? Oh, wait, okay. There we go, that's that's interesting. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that you? Yeah, it was me. Is he dead? Did I get him? Uh, he was terrible, right? I think. I'm metal, by the way, just stay away from me. Who shot? Yeah, the bar's dead. dead. You. Oh, fuck me. Can you use this stuff the bar? How is dying content? Hey, you know, you know. Uh, okay. you, Hi. You're just born. Yeah. Get a good He's dying so many times. Is that guy back? Oh, yeah. 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 You didn't get a fucking chance, boy. Right in between the sheds. In between the shed, dead. Um, this kept going for four or five long hours. We were up all night defending and killing them every time they kept coming for us. We were doing so well, but because of how late it was getting for us on our end of things, eventually the tide had turned in their favour. <laughs> Keep him the right. He's in the window, dude. He's picking the window right here. I'm dead.
Once I had eventually died, I of course kept running back time and time again, but they just kept getting the upper hand and eventually Granny conceded and let the Mafia in. I wasn't there for that part as I was trying to get back to continue defending, but when I did get back, I came back to something I thought I would never experience here and on any other server. and. To be honest, it was really heartbreaking to watch. Hello? Frankie just took it right What? I killed one of them, but I got, I got here too late. I'm oh. gonna go chase after them. No, I need my gear. Dude, they actually they got in. They got her. Well, no, I, had... I was on my own spot there. Oh, that's a shame. That's a big was, shame. They were just chopping it. They, they cut the, they cut their way into the the flagpole, took the flag. And I they see. Get what you can, Frank. Get what That's a shame. Are you are, are you about crying? I'm not really. Just stress. They shot me. They were trying to make reasons to shoot me, even though I left me. That's a shame. Guys, yeah, she's about crying. Look at that. That's a and fucking shame. Oh. They've been watching how things have been going. I just. I'm I... sure that whatever happens will happen. <sighs> I'm just. Guys, she's. And adrenaline, you know. Oh. Having folks literally come back over and over just to wear us down is not so much fun, you know. I feel you. I feel you. I understand. Okay. We'll see what happens next week when things actually do. Like the base building stuff comes in, it'll just take me a while longer to sort it. Like I said before, I was heartbroken to watch this all unfold before my eyes and to see someone really just break down during a live stream was a new low that I never thought I would experience, but I guess things are possible. In the end though, we lost everything, most if not all of the gear and items that we had for the hotel was shot up and ruined and then not long after that, the server decided to close down. So we never ever got to see a rebuild of the hotel. Despite all the shit that happened though, I am very happy that I got the opportunity to play with some amazing content creators out there and just people in general. I got to learn a lot of things and I just can't thank you enough for just allowing me to be a part of such a great story. So despite all the shit, thank you guys and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. You point at them. You point at him. You point at him. You point at him. You point at him. You point at me. You point at me. You gonna point at him. You gonna point at me now. You gonna point at him. You point at him. You point at Granny. You point at the one in front of me. You point at Rips. Are you point at one in back of the door? You point at Granny again. No, it's got banana. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. We're sorry, Granny. We're sorry. Fuck, Granny. We're sorry. Okay, don't rob us. Listen up. I got a fucking grenade.